all right then uh, welcome back everyone so let's solve this question uh, cover in water so let me read out the question for you philip has a row of cells some of which are blocked and some are empty he wants all the empty cells to have water in them he has two actions at his disposal first one place water in an empty cell second one is remove water from a cell and place it at place it in any other empty cell right if at some moment uh, if at some moment cell i is empty and both cell i minus and i plus 1 contains water then it becomes filled with water so basically what they're trying to say here is if you have water in this cell this cell then this cell gets automatically filled with water this is a property uh, that this row follows this uh, this whatever row right so this row of cells have this property if at any time uh, for a cell its neighbors contain water then it gets automatically filled with water that's the property of this cells fine then uh, cool then find the number of times he needs to perform action one in order to fill all the empty cells with water so in the end what we want is all the empty cells should be filled with water note that you don't need to minimize use of action 2 so what is action 2 is a uh, remove water from a cell and place it in any other empty cell we want to minimize this operation that is we want to place water as little time as possible anyway we can uh, move a water from a cell any number of times that is you can place water here you can place water here then yeah fine you can move this uh, you can move uh, water from this cell to this cell we have no bound on that so shifting water is always allowed so what i'm saying is a uh, for example let's see uh, there is a there is a water here there is a water here there is a water here and uh, let's say after this blocked cell so this uh, dark gray are blocked cell there is one more empty cell so there is one more empty cell what you can do is uh, yeah come to this part for example there is one more empty cell at, the, at here there is one more empty cell here so since we have water in these three cells i can take water out from this cell place it there i can place it there and again by the property uh, again this this cell will become empty then right and by the property that uh, since its neighbors have uh, water in them this will again get filled so you are getting right what i'm trying to say we have no limitation on removing water from a cell and place it in place it in any other cell fine note that the blocked cells neither contain water nor philip has placed water fine so blocked cells are blocked we cannot do anything with them we just have to fill all the empty cells cool let's understand the input and output and then we can go on solving this question so each test case contains multiple test cases fine so first line will be t number of test cases no issues then first line of each test case contains a single integer n the number of cells okay and next line contains string s okay so the cells are represented the configuration is represented using a string s where a dot is representing a empty cell and a hash or a pound is representing a blocked cell all right our end goal is find the minimum amount of action one needed to fill in all the empty cells with water now let's understand uh, uh, two test cases uh, so this is a constructive algorithm by problem tag you can see and uh, let's see let's uh, take one example uh, this example I'll just copy all the test cases and then we'll work on it so let me just copy all the test cases and right i yeah let, let me just take the input and then we can go on so in 10 is size of the string we take that and then the configuration is stored in s so in s fine right so let's take this test case and try to understand what's going on here maybe i'll increase the font size a little bit okay cool so let's understand this test case right so this is a blocked cell uh, these three are empty cells this is a blocked empty empty cells blocked empty fine no issues so these three are we want to like we have two operations at our disposal action one is place water and action two uh, basically take water from a cell to another right you can say place water from a cell to another this order so basically take water from here and put it somewhere else take water from let's say this cell and put it to some other cell fine now there is no property of this cell there's no property of this cell if you have something like this uh, if you have um, let me just uh, denote water by w here so if a cell has a water i'll just denote as a w okay so that's what that's the convention i'm following here so if you have something like this let's say water 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 dot water then this automatically becomes because the configuration of this uh, cells is water 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 right? water 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 that's what will happen now what benefit is this like uh, what is the benefit of this operation can you think uh, this is a property of uh, the cells right the row has this property if we have a water water empty water cell then automatically a water is filled between these cells okay right so what do you observe here like uh, what can how can this benefit us how can this benefit us so uh, after uh, some amount of thinking if you think for a while 
I also like gave it some time, five ten minutes, and what I found out was, uh, this is like a, this is like an infinite supply of water be between uh, these two water cells, right? This is kind of like that only, right? So let's say I have many empty cells. I have many empty cells, then block, empty, block, empty, block, empty, so on. But if somewhere, if somewhere I can, I can make this, uh, I can make this happen, water, empty water, then I have infinite supply of water, right? Uh, what I mean by infinite supply of water is, if I have water, empty water, what I can do is, uh, I can make it water, 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 right? Then what I can do is, I can take this water out, I can take this water out, uh, take this water out and place it some other empty cell. Let's say I take, uh, let me just take this water out and place it some other empty cell, then it will become again like this, water, empty water, okay? And this water is used somewhere else. Let's say this uh, water is used uh, at some other empty cell. But again, because of the property, because of the property of the cells, You'll get water, 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 water. So I don't think you're understanding it completely. Let me just uh, take an example and make you understand. So let's just uh, take this example, right? 10. So the size of the string is 10. So this is n. So here we have a, uh, like, see, initially here we have three empty cells, right? Somehow, somehow, if I can get this configuration, water, empty water, then I can get infinite supply of water between these two cells. So what I'll do is at the very worst, at the, at the very first, what I'll do is I'll put water in these two cells, okay, and rest everything is fine. Rest everything is fine. I'll put water in these two cells and rest everything is fine. Now, by this property, by this property, uh, by this property, what will happen? This will be converted into, oh sorry, by this property, this will be converted into, there'll be water here, right? There'll be water here. Now, I want to exploit this property that if two neighboring cells have water, then water is poured into middle cell. I'll take this W. I take this W, so this cell becomes empty again, and I'll put water here. Again by the property, water will be filled. I'll I'll take this W, again empty, water is placed here. Again by the property, W comes here. I take this W, place it in the water, place water here, place water here, and again by the property, W will come. Right? So you are getting uh, what I'm saying. If somehow I can get this configuration, somehow I can get this configuration, I can fill all the empty cells. I can fill all the empty cells. Right? I can fill all the empty cells. And how much operation one consumed to get this configuration? Uh, initially, since all the cells are empty. Uh, okay, let's uh, not talk about that. How many minimum operations you'll need. First, let's see how can you get this configuration? Uh, when can you get this configuration? This basically we want a uh, wow configuration, right? We want a wow configuration. <laughs> so how can you get this configuration? You can get this configuration if you have a run of three empty cells. Right? If you have a run of three empty cells, just by putting uh, just by putting water like this, you can get this configuration, right? So what did we discuss? What did we discuss? If we can get somehow this wow configuration, we can fill all the empty cells. Why? Because we have an infinite supply of water between these two, right? This O can be replaced by water again and again, again and again until we can fill all the empty cells. Right, so basically if we can find a runoff, now how can we get this wow configuration? If we can find a runoff three empty cells, just a run of three empty cells, then we can just place water in these two places, these two places, and we can get a wow configuration. We'll need two, two action ones, right? We'll need a two number of operations. So basically, we'll require two operations of action one, and our job will be done. But if we cannot find a wow configuration, then so is there an example here where there is no wow configuration? For example, this seven. Let's see this test case uh, where there is a no wow configuration possible. Then what will happen? If there is a no wow configuration, we don't have infinite supply of water. We have to place water in every cell individually, right? So here, you have to place water in all of them. So we have to perform this action one as many number of times as there are empty cells. That's only option here, right? So the one, two, three, four, five. So let me just bring out the answers also, then, um, then it will make much more sense to you. So if this is the test case, let us see here. So this is a test case for test case number three. One, two, three, we have five, right? So if we can get the wow configuration, and when can we get the wow configuration? We can get the wow configuration if we have run of three empty cells. Then we only need two operations, two action ones. Right? We only need, uh, we need to perform action one only two number of times. But if we cannot get wow configuration, any we will have to fill all the empty cells, and the uh, number of action one consumed will be equals to number of empty cells. So like, can I write this pseudo code here? Can I write this pseudo code here? Yeah, let me just write the pseudo code here. Mm, let me just write it uh, maybe below, right? So if you have a run of three dots. This can be figured out very easily. Three dots, uh, then basically see out two. Right? You only have you only need to perform action two number of times. Else, see out uh, basically frequency 
frequency of empty cells frequency of empty cells how many times empty cells are present so this is my pseudo code let's try to quickly implement it so i've taken the input and uh, string as fine no issues so i'll go through the string print i equals to 0 i less than a strip size i plus plus what i want is i also need to keep track of number of empty cells so i'll keep track in uh, this this variable so if s of i equal equals to dot i'll quickly do e plus plus okay i'll quickly do e plus plus fine and uh, what i can check is i want to always uh, keep in check on if whether a run of three dots is available so what i want is uh, if s of uh, i minus one equal equals to dot and and s of i equal equals to dot so i'm just checking uh, whether a run of three dots has arrived and and s of i plus one uh, equal equals to dot uh, then uh, then you can just print c out two and a new line right issues with that uh, yeah we also need to perform a out of bound check here right also need to perform out of bound check so if i is greater than zero i is greater than zero and and i is uh, less than uh, okay so i don't need to write as dot size here i can just put n here right and i is, has to be less than n minus one this is obvious because otherwise this i minus one and i plus one will go out of bounds so this has to be checked before you can do this also uh, you need a flag here right to make sure that you printed the answer you don't print it again so i'll just write bool uh, f equals to false so initially it is uh, like true i can just uh, make it false here okay we can make it false here so basically if we found a run of three ones we uh, we can do a wow configuration we can convert into wow configuration by just performing action one two number of times and we can print two otherwise uh, basically if uh, flag is still set if flag is still set then basically we didn't find any run of three ones for example this test case and the answer will be we have to perform action one one two three four five number of times number of empty cells so e and again i'll have a new line so new line i have defined a different definition here by the way okay that's one thing yeah so let me just test it so this is the answers right so i'll just keep them uh, there for me to verify Uh, let's just run it. Mm, it didn't run, is it? Just a second. What happened? Let me run them. Two 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 five zero two. Yeah, fine. It makes sense. Uh, let me just uh, quickly submit and check uh, whether it works. Um, Main dot cpp and submit. Oh, wrong answer on test case one. Wrong answer. Third number differs. Um, okay. Two two five zero two. Okay, I'm printing two one more time. Why is it? Th why is that the case? Mm -hmm. Am I like maybe I am doing something wrong with the flag? Is it? it seems like uh, I'm doing something wrong with the flag here. Oh. I have to break. <laughs> silly mistake, silly mistake, guys. Silly mistake. I have to break, right? <laughs> Once I have found out a run of one, I have to just print two and break. Otherwise, I have to try printing it again. Okay, very silly. So yeah, I, I think you might have got this mistake. Sorry for that. Yeah, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.